Colonoscopy is a very efficient tool in reducing the incidence of colorectal carcinoma and preventing death from colorectal carcinoma, provided that it is performed to a high quality standard. Multiple factors are known to influence the quality of colonoscopy and ensure the protective outcome of the procedure. These factors include, among others, fecal intubation rate, adenoma detection rate, polypectomy rate, withdrawal time, and not least, the endoscopist performing the procedure. Most recent studies have shown inter-endoscopist variability in the outcome of colonoscopies, especially in the detection of polyps and adenomas. Gastroenterologists are, for example, associated with high uh, ADRs and CIRs compared with surgeons or other physicians. Furthermore, lower rates of post-colonoscopy CRC were found among gastroenterologist endoscopists than among other endoscopists. These findings resulted in the endoscopist being considered an independent predictor for ADR, comparable weight or even more important than sex and age of the patient. In addition to the speciality of the endoscopist, the setting in which a colonoscopy is performed has a significant impact on the outcome of colonoscopy. Bressler et al. showed that office-based colonoscopy was associated with a higher risk of new or missed CRC than hospital-based colonoscopy. In the current study, Cosbial et al. analyzed the outcome of quality-assured screening colonoscopies in Austria in relation to endoscopist speciality and the setting in which colonoscopies were performed. The aim was to determine whether there were differences in colonoscopy performance between surgeons and internists, gastroenterologists and non gastroenterologist endoscopies with regard to ADRs, CIRs, polypectomy rates, complication rates and other factors and furthermore to examine the impact of colonoscopy setting on the outcome of colonoscopy. Here is a summary of their findings. Background and study aim. International studies have shown differences in the outcome of screening colonoscopies related to the endoscopist speciality and setting of colonoscopy. The aim of this study was to investigate the impact of these two factors on quality parameters for screening colonoscopy in a quality assured screening program. Methods. Adenoma detection rate, ADR, Cecal intubation rate, CIR, polypectomy rate, flat polyp detection rate, carcinoma detection rate, sedation rate, complication rates, and other parameters of 59,901 screening colonoscopies performed by 178 endoscopies were analyzed in relation to speciality. 35 gastroenterologists, 10,066 colonoscopies, 84 non-gastroenterologists, 26,271 colonoscopies, 59 surgeons, 23,564, and setting hospital, 12,580 colonoscopies, office, 45,000 781 colonoscopies. Results. The overall ADR was 20.5% and the CIR was 95.6%. The ADR did not show any statistical significance either in relation to speciality or to setting. A significant difference in the CIR was found between hospital-based and office-based internists. Hospital-based internists had a significantly higher flat polyp detection rate and a significantly lower carcinoma detection rate compared with 
office-based internists. Complication rates were significantly lower among surgeons than among internists. Conclusion Endoscopies participating in the Austrian Quality Assurance Program offered high-quality screening colonoscopy regardless of their speciality and setting. The implementation of a standardized quality program is therefore a decisive factor in quality improvement of screening colonoscopy.